Hello everyone, I am Dr. Shankar De. Today I am going to demonstrate one very useful procedure in the world for every healthcare professional that is IV cannula or intravenous cannula insertion. So first of all, I am going to show you all the necessary things that is required for the procedure. So here is my tray with all the necessary items that is required for the IV cannula insertion. Here is one IV cannula, pink or 20 gauge cannula. According to your need, you can choose the appropriate size cannula like 18 gauge or 20 gauge or 22 gauge. This is pink cannula, 20 gauge cannula. Here is one adhesive tape for fixation of IV cannula. Here is one tourniquet and here is some cotton with alcohol or spirit. So with these things, I am going to show you the procedure of IV cannula insertion. So the first step is wash your hand properly and wear one sterile glass. As you can see, I have already put on the sterile glass and then the second step is take this tourniquet and tie the tourniquet just above the side where you are going to insert the cannula like this. Next thing is as you can see here is presence of one visible vein. If the vein is not properly visible you can ask the patient to open and close his hand for few times to make the vein more prominent. Open and close. And now close your hand. See here one prominent superficial vein. In this vein I am going to insert the cannula. Next step. Clean the IV cannula insertion site using this alcohol soaked or spirit soaked cotton. So clean the area properly before IV cannula insertion. Now open the cannula from the sterile pack and hold the cannula with two wings together with the bevel end of the needle pointing upwards. So I am opening the cannula and holding the cannula with my three fingers, two on the wings and one on the distal end and now in introduce the cannula with beveled end pointing upward. Now the vein to be punctured is to be steadied. So vein to be punctured is steadied and the skin is punctured with the cannula keeping the cannula at about 15 degrees to the skin. Now the needle with the cannula is advanced to the subcutaneous tissue into the vein. As the cannula enters the vein, the blood will be seen flushed into the distal end of the cannula. As you can see, blood flushed into the distal end of the cannula. Now the needle stillate with the needle is withdrawn slightly. Now advance the IV cannula further into the vein. The cannula is introduced. Now what you have to do is remove the needle, stillate or needle and close the distal end of the IV cannula. So the introduction of IV cannula is complete. Now it's time to remove the tourniquet. Next thing you have to do is secure the IV cannula with the adhesive tape. So here is the adhesive tape. Now secure this IV cannula with adhesive tape. So this is the procedure. You must follow these steps to secure IV line with S. So I think all steps are very much clear how to introduce the IV cannula. Now I am securing the IV cannula with adhesive tape. So the procedure is complete. See the IV cannulation finally. So I hope this video helps you in your first successful IV cannula insertion. So thank you very much for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe my channel for next useful clinical procedure demonstration.